Here we have Cruiser Blade 64 gigabyte flash drive that came in for data recovery. Let's read what the customer wrote. Customer wrote one sentence. Drive left in USB slot of laptop was bent. Drive is not readable. Informative and straight to the point. And I do see the bent shell right here. And the motherboard is right there. The motherboard is not bent. I do not see any bending on the board itself, but I do see bending on the shell. Let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on and if we can save this drive. Oh, I do see a crack right off the bat. Maybe the lines were broken from here to here, here to here, and possibly here to here, and maybe ground also. Positive ground, and then we have D minus, D plus. One way to find out. How do we know if those lines are broken. We can grind before and after, or we do not need to grind before, we can just grind after, somewhere here. And then we can grind right here, and right here. No, right there. Or we can even measure at the cap right here. Multimeter in continuity mode. And we want to test to see if the line is continuous. We're going to measure from here to here. And the line is continuous. We're going to measure from here to here. And the line is not continuous. So the line is broken from here to here. That line, that trace, is very thin. And it breaks easy. What about from here to here? And that trace is broken as well. What about our 5 volts trace? From here. All right, so we do have VCC. We do have a ground. But those two traces in the middle are broken. No problem. No problem, senor. Let's zoom in. Just like that. Fume extractor on. Right now we're going to use the NF.mini pen because the other tip, my water tip, is too big for those traces. I did go over this pen in a previous video and it's been a top seller since. It's amazing. I'm currently using the knife tip. That's wire one. All right, so let's go ahead and test again before we try out the drive. Make sure we have a continuous path. We're gonna measure from. First, we need to go to continuity mode. And we're gonna measure from, maybe from here to right here. And we're gonna measure from here to right here. Awesome, we're done. All we have to do is test and see if we are able to read files. Let's go ahead and reassemble the drive. I'm going to put the motherboard inside the shell so everything is aligned properly and then we're going to try it. Hopefully we can read the files. The first thing we have to do is put the drive inside the shell right here and that shell is broken from the top. 
we're going to put the board inside the shell like this. And then the red one will go inside the black one. And just like that. Let's see if we are able to read files. And why is the fume extractor on? Let me open up Explorer. Go to my PC and let's see. Plug it right here. Yes. We do hear it. Yes. Wow. We got it. We got it. Let me disconnect. It's gone. And when we reconnect, awesome. Awesome. Amazing. And we can tell it's a 64 gig hard drive. You cannot tell because it's blurred up. I do not want you to see the files. And those are the files on the hard drive. All we had to do was restore the broken traces and the drive is working again. A lot of viewers, they always ask, are you going to send that drive back to the customer? The answer is no. We're going to transfer the files over to another drive and we're going to send the customer a new drive with all the files that are on this drive. And we do that for two reasons. Reason number one, what if we send that only drive that contains the file for the customer in the mail and the mail got lost? And then what? The files are gone. And then the customer is going to tell you, I have millions of dollars worth of information on that drive and you lost my drive. I did not lose it. The mailman lost it. So that's a different story. But I do not want to put myself in that position where I have to explain why the drive got lost or how it got lost or have to communicate with the post office or whatever carrier that we ship this drive with. That's reason number one. And reason number two, what if that customer got the drive, he plugged it in and that drive bent again and he's not able to read files? Then it's a back and forth thing and I do not want to have to deal with that. Or some customers may be scammers. They tell you I was not able to read files and I want my money back. But in reality, they did read the files and save the files, but they want to claim otherwise. Those customers are very rare, but it does happen every once in a while. So we have to protect our interest. That's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.